The assessment of the greenhouse gas footprint of food products requires the quantification of greenhouse gas emissions along the value chain from raw material production to the point of sale and to the end customer. Thereby, emissions are either directly assessed or obtained from existing life cycle assessment LCA databases, tools to assess emissions from all stages of a life cycle of a product. Nestle already assesses emissions from manufacturing and distribution by measuring the amount of energy used. Emissions from agricultural production, however, are much more complex and difficult to assess. In these cases, LCA databases provide standard emissions factors by crop, livestock type, or for a given farming activity. Most of the time, these factors aggregate very different farming models and practices for a geographic region or a country level, as they average out the variability coming from different farming practices, they are mostly used for initial assessments. More specific emissions factors must be used for accurate GHG footprint calculation locally at farm level, as well as for the GHG impact of a specific intervention. For this reason, carbon calculators, such as the COOL farm tool, have been developed. These estimate GHG emissions of a farm based on its actual practices and production data. Results are expressed as emissions per unit of output. For example, kilogram carbon dioxide equivalent per kilogram of milk. Or, kilogram carbon dioxide equivalent per kilogram of green coffee beans. In annual crops, the main parameters that determine the emissions are crop type, productivity, soil characteristics, fertilizer application, cover crop, and residue management, soil tillage, and energy use. Besides, Density and size of trees are needed in perennial crops to get a good GHG footprint. In the case of livestock production, the main parameters determining GHG emissions are species type, herd composition, productivity, feed type, quantity and composition, and manure management. Any other emissions, such as fossil fuel consumption, electricity, energy for milk cooling, and emissions from upstream processes, such as feed and fertilizer production, can be either obtained from the carbon calculator from LCA lifecycle databases or may be received directly from the supplier. Nestle has committed to decreasing greenhouse gas footprint of its product and therefore aims at credible and comparable greenhouse gas assessment along the whole value chain. To achieve our net zero target, Nestle intends to build on emission factors determined in situ through measurements of actual production parameters and farming practices, be it on each individual farms or on farms representative for common farming practices. <laughs>